one of the best ways of getting consistent 100Xs is IDOs and launch pads, initial decks offering. And today we're going to focus on one that is 70% down from its all time high, but there's something in particular happening from the fundamentals, but more so on a technical basis where the price is ready to explode. So now might be the right time to get your membership cheap whilst we're in this bearish part of the market. And when we move into peak IDO season, I think it's going to be in a few weeks and a few months time, then the membership price is going to be double, triple, if not quadruple of what it is today. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jigier. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro, and featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008, where I only used to focus on currencies, but now exclusive on cryptocurrency. So let's dive straight in. So the launch pad we're going to focus on today is Meta V Pad, the biggest IDO of 2021. I think one of the biggest of all time. It did a 1290 X. Yes, if we jump into the Bluezilla website, we'll see if it pops up. They are on. If I go to selected all time highs, we'll see it was their top performing IDO, Meta V Pad 1290X. However, it's done a significant pullback since that time. Now, Meta V Pad is focused on the metaverse as a launch pad focused on the metaverse, building the metaverse one block at a time. But what we're going to focus on today, today I'm on CoinGecko. The current price of Meta VPAD is 33 cents and it's been as high as $1.20. Like it spiked there, stayed for five minutes and then pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. And that's natural, healthy, and we should always anticipate that. But there's something in particular with this price action that we're going to cover in towards the end of the video that we need to be aware of where we might have a potential reversal on our hands. So what's happening with Meta VPAD? So when we go into their projects, we'll see that today, today's the... 20th of Jan, we've got Verve launching on Meta VPad. Now, if that does 100x plus, that's going to start getting eyeballs really onto this now. And But then we've got this big project coming up called MetaFluence. MetaFluence is on the 24th of Jan. If we click on their website, I'm going to play a short video. It is looking sexy. Influence to earn the metaverse for influencers. Now, there's a lot of these coming out, but you know some are going to do well and some are going to do okay. And this, I'm going to play this video. I thought this video was pretty cool. I'm just going to play it. It's around a minute long. So let's just play this video. Let's make sure the volume is up. Volume is up. All right, let's go. There you go, very sexy. A lot of partners, and when we scroll down, this is a big project. Like when I was looking at this, you know, we're, we're scrolling down, scrolling down. This is not just a Bluezilla one. Their Bluezilla is now starting to partner with some big boys outside of their own ecosystem. When we scroll down, we'll see the roadmap. Yep, let's keep going. You know, Master Ventures is a big deal. You know, they're the ones behind Paid Ignition and Car, I think it's Car Chase. Um, and then when we scroll further down, we'll see there's a whole ton of investors involved in Meta Influence, and one of them is the Bluezilla Venture Capital. So now they're really kind of getting involved with some, they're not just incubating themselves. So this one is probably going to be a big one. So we need to pay attention to Meta VPAD. You know, I think it's going to explode. We've also got Pax World launching on the 24th of Feb, so that's a month time. And I think we're going to see a lot more. And they're focused on the Metaverse, and Metaverse is a big trend right now. Remember, Facebook has changed its name to Meta. It's pure focus is now the metaverse over the next 
five years, 10 years, and time to come. VR, AR, virtual reality, augmented reality, NFTs, play to earn, and just moving into this new world of social interaction. You know, I do a lot of my meetings now on Zoom. And that's like a mini 2D metaverse, right? And here is just moving it to the next level because of blockchain technology. But what I'm going to finish on, which is the main part of today actually, is the technicals, right? The technicals. This is the chart data for Meta VPad. We had the launch of the IDO. Wait, what was the date on this? It was on the 10th of December, thereabouts, and it exploded. The candle wick actually went a lot higher. I think it went to like a dollar twenty. Came back down, calmed down, and now is sitting at around thirty three cents. Now, when you get a movement to the upside, most common, most common is a retracement, a retracement of fifty percent as a minimum, right? Fifty percent as a minimum. So what I'm gonna do here, I've done it already. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take this retracement tool. We're gonna take this low to this high. We'll take the closing price. It's better to take the closing price. And the minimum is typically 50%, 62 to 78.6. Right? So let me just get rid of these. So the, the market has not gone to 50%. Where it's hovering right now and it looks like it's going to reverse is the 38.2. It's a very key Fibonacci ratio. Not common for the first pullback. Normally, first pullbacks, like the market is uncertain, so there's a, normally a bigger sell-off. But here, it's a small sell-off. It's only 38 point, you know, 38.2 from the closing price data. So then, this is what we want to be paying attention to. So what I'm going to do, is, there's a key piece of information that most people won't be familiar with. We're going to go to a four-hour chart. So here, one day represents, one bar represents one day. We want to go to a four-hour chart. By the way, if you're participating in Meta VPad, I've actually got a Elliott Wave, no, not Elliott Wave, I've got an Elliott Wave Masterclass, but we want an IDO and Launchpad Masterclass. It's free in the link below, and it just covers the high-level thinking of IDOs and Launchpads, why it's high probability to give you consistent 100Xs if you get involved, but buying the Launchpad at the lowest possible price is one of the tricks that you want to be participating in and, and executing. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to zoom in like this with this data. I'm just going to get rid of this. All right. What I wanted to just finish on is this key piece of information. There's something called an overbalance of price, right? So this here is not a clean correction, but it is choppy. It is a corrective pattern. This is impulsive. Look at this. Boom. Buying, buying, buying. And then this has been, you know, losing strength. And then it's been just a slow and steady sell-off. These zigzags is a corrective pattern. But there's something unique about this part of the market on the right-hand side. It's something very unique, and we need to be aware of it. So we know there's going to be a lot of projects launching on Meta VPad, and you know this IDO season is really going to take off. But what we have here, I'm going to do it like this so we can see it really, really clearly. So we've got an overbalance of price. So this has been the movement to the downside. Now this here, from this low to this high, is bigger than any of a movement to the upside in this whole corrective sequence. So that's what you refer to as an overbalance of price, an overbalance of price. And now what I want to do is just zoom in over here. Because with Elliott Waves and Fibonacci, the market tends to move in fives and threes, fives and threes, fives and threes, over and over again. On a, on a micro degree, when you go zoom into the market, you'll see fives and threes, fives and threes, and fives and threes within the fives and the threes. And then when you zoom out on a macro, you'll see that same pattern again, time and time again. And if you want to learn the Elliott Wave and Fibonacci, the real high level stuff, but in layman's terms, take my free masterclass because we're seeing it right here. What are we, what am I seeing right here, right? With this overbalance of price. Well, on the micro degree count, we're seeing a one, two, three, four, five. Right, hopefully that's clear. So why am I bringing this to you today? Because we might have one last opportunity to buy Meta VPad at a big discount. I say big discount, it's not cheap. We'll look at some of the prices of what, what it's going to set you back. But in comparison to, you know, it's 33 cents today, but when it's 50 cents, well, that's nearly double the price. When it's a dollar, that's nearly triple the price. When it's maybe $2 or $1.50, that's five times the price. So if you are looking to get involved in IDOs, it might not be the most comfortable time to buy, mainly because of the whole fear, uncertainty, and doubt of the entire market. 
but that's where the opportunity is. And if you have your wisdom hat on and you can see what others are not seeing, then you can bang yourself a bargain. So what we're likely to see after a five wave sequence, we can do some uh, Fibonacci as well. We can do a wave one to three. We're taking the highs and the lows and a typical end of wave five is 62%. 38.2% is and 100%, but we can see we're in this range. I'm just doing this just very, very quick. Yeah, that, that's more than enough. The, the other key ratio is actually measuring wave one, projecting it from the low of wave four, if I can see it. And 100% is what we want. Wave one and wave fives often equal each other. So we can see we're in this range and we've got this reversal candle. We don't need to get too analytic about it, but we know this is our end of wave five target. So we're probably gonna see a correction. What kind of correction do we normally see? Well, it's ABC. Yeah, literally a three wave correction is what we always anticipate. A, B, C. I'm gonna get very detailed on this, but I'm gonna do it relatively fast. We're gonna do a retracement just to kind of give you a bit of a ballpark of what we should anticipate. Now, it could just take off, right? Because if, because Verve is launching, what is this, in the UK right now, it's 6 a.m. Um, and we've got uh, Meta Fluence on the 24th. And if there's no other IDOs between after Meta Fluence until Paxworld that are not listed, then we might just see a, a short-term sell-off. And that might be the opportunity for getting involved for the first time. But if you want to get involved in these two projects, well, Verve will be gone. But with uh, Meta Fluence, we are going to do a retracement because it's got pretty decent volume. It's not amazing volume. As in, if we go back to CoinGecko, according to CoinGecko, the volume is around two, 2 million in the last 24 hours, which is okay. All right, so we got this here. But here we are going to anticipate a typical 50%, 62 and 78.6% retracement. Let's just get rid of these now. Uh, these I'm going to get rid of as well because they're just noise we like to keep our charts nice and clean you know there's another way of actually cleaning this chart if you click this cog and we go to grid uh grid 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 where is it is it this actually i'm not going to do it right now there's a is it this one i was gonna i was gonna get rid of these grids i don't wanna, like having these grids but we won't get too anal today all right the last thing i want to do is just quick time if this ends up being the wave five high typically a correction it's 50 to 78.6. And that's enough. That's enough. That's enough data. This momentum indicator will probably coincide with a correction. You know, if it does something like this and it reverses to the upside with this momentum indicator, something like this. And in this zone down here, we may see a massive buying opportunity. I think it's quite low already, but this is just on a four-hour chart. You know, this price here is around 30 cents, so it's another 10, 15% down, and then 28 cents, so it's quite a narrow range, but this is what we might see, and now let's just finish up on zooming back out, zooming back out to kind of give us perspective, this is what we're looking at, and then what are the price movements that we're anticipating? Well, this over here, we refer to as a wave one, this here is a complex wave two, if it finishes there, it's very bullish because it's only 38.6 based on this closing price. And then if it takes off, I think I've drawn it already. Have I drawn it already? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I basically measured measured this wave here and projected forward up here 1.618 to 2.618. These are the typical ratios of the next leg up. In fact, let's just go back to a daily chart because it just keeps it a bit cleaner. Uh, daily, daily. There we go. I'm just going to give us perspective. Right, so this is today's price. And possibly, possibly in the next two to six weeks, we might see Meta VPAD breaking the $1 mark again and then possibly in the $1.40 mark. And on today's price, that's around three, four, five times as much in, in terms of price. So there you have it. There you have it. Uh, did I say I was going to cover something else? Uh, did I? <laughs> Uh, I, got, I got this picture in my mind um, that I said I was going to jump into the website was we were going to check. Um, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Yeah, 
There you go. There you go. I'm just thinking, let me just see if I wanted to cover anything else with you. No, that's all good. We've got Coin Gecko. That's all good. Yeah. Got Meta VPad. Got these projects, which are launching Verve, MetaFluence. We got DotPad. DotPad is on the 27th as well. Don't forget DotPad. And that hasn't been officially announced. It's not on any of the launch pads. I think they're waiting for these to go. Then we've got Paxworld and a few others. That was it. I knew there was something. I knew there was something. I knew there was something. It was the memberships, memberships, memberships. I'm going to just go over the cost of memberships because it's, it's at a discount, but doesn't mean it's cheap, right? So Explorer is 30,000 tokens, 30,000 tokens. So CoinGecko allows us to, let me just zoom in over here. Bum, bum, bum. We can just type in, we need 30,000 tokens. CoinGecko at today's price, what would that cost us? It's $9,900. So it's not cheap, right? It's not cheap. For the lowest tier membership is $30,000. It'll give you a pull weight of 10. So what that means in reality is if top tier, uh, if top tier got a pull weight of 66, which is what this is, right? If we can look at it like this. And let's just say top tier got $200 allocation. We can divide that by 66 equals 3.03 .03 times it by 10. So where, because a lot of people get very confused with this. I've noticed that it's not that intuitive to work out. So where 66 pull weight, top tier might get $200. The equivalent on the lower tier will get $30, right? So we go, okay, that's, that's a significant difference, nearly six, seven times difference. So we go, okay, how much is it going to cost us to get a top tier membership to get $200? Because what, what's the difference between $200 and $30? I just deleted that for a second. Let's pull that back up. Let's just say a project does a 500X and you got a $30 allocation. Well, then the value, and keep in mind that they're not unlocked straight away, $30 turns into $15,000. That's not bad. Keeping in mind that the membership cost us nine thousand nine hundred in today's price, but what I also wanted to make sure is clear: today's price is thirty-three cents. But let's just say today's price goes up three x, right? Which which it is likely to do. Meta VPA is a big time project. Bluezilla, you know, there's a lot of hype around Meta, Meta, Metaverse and GameFi, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if we times this by three, and then say we want thirty thousand tokens, then it's going to cost you thirty grand. Right, that's what we mean by a discount. In in six weeks' time, it's highly probable that this membership is going to be thirty grand, and today you're going to get get it at ten grand. That's the discount. So now let's just look at how much will an architect membership cost us. Now, for an architect membership to get the seven times higher allocation, hundred and eighty thousand tokens. Right, hundred and eighty thousand tokens. It's not going to be cheap, right? Hundred and eighty thousand tokens. One, two, three. It's going to cost you $59,000. $59,000. Is that is it worth that money? I go, only you can decide if it's because it's not, IDLs is not an easy strategy. But if we go, um, you know, what was I going to do? Yeah, that was it. 33 cents. Let's say it's three times the price. And then we need 180,000 tokens. You know, you can do the math, right? It's, uh, it's nearly 187, well, $178,000 for top tier membership and today it's 60 grand, right? So it's not cheap. Either of them is not cheap, but it's a matter of weeks, right? It's going to be a matter of weeks. If Meta VPad takes off, buying today, you're getting like 60 to 70, 80% off to what it's likely to be in the near future. Because if, let's just say, let's just think about psychology for a second. If, for instance, Verve, let's just say it does incredibly well. We don't know what it's going to do, but let's just say it does a 600X and a lot of people get $150 allocation and the word gets out. So a lot of people make $90,000 on one. And then they go, hang on a second, Meta Influence is coming out in a few days. Okay, let's just say that ends up doing a 400X. Not saying it will, not saying it won't. Just let's just say it because others have done those numbers, right? Times it and they get $200 allocation. Let's say they get $250 allocation because there's not that many top tier memberships. And they make a hundred grand. So you go plus 90,000. You go, hang on a second, these guys just made 190,000. And then DotPad comes out on the 27th in seven days, and MetaVPad top tier members, let's just say, get 
I don't know, let's say it was $170 for whatever reason, right? Because there's a lot of moving parts. There's, you know, members are moving, there's stakers, how many members are there, how much is being raised, you know, there's a lot of moving parts, but let's just say it's $170. Or well, in fact, let's go for Adapad gave hundred and just over $180 for top tier, right? Top tier. And let's just say Dotpad does a thousand X, right? Meta VPad did a twelve hundred X, so we can do we can assume a thousand X. Wait, that's not that's not right, is it? Yeah, one hundred eighty thousand. Yeah, that's right. Is that right? Yeah, one hundred eighty thousand. So plus the other one hundred ninety thousand from the other two, and then the word gets out, and someone says, "Man, I just did three IDOs, and I made over a quarter of a million. I spent sixty grand, which is a lot of money." But then I spent a further six hundred dollars because the IDO allocation amount is low. Like in terms of dollar amount, it's two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, one hundred fifty dollars, and you made three hundred and seventy thousand dollars. And the word is now spreading like wildfire. Bluezilla is marketing like crazy. You know, five hundred x, the next two hundred x, the six hundred x, a thousand x, and you're there thinking, and hey, I want a thousand x. How do I get involved? And you go, oh, well, a lot of people might go. Well, I can only get the bottom tier. We got great. They buy, you know, but they're now paying three times as much. The creator is the middle tier is 90,000 tokens and the top tier is 180,000 tokens. And now there's this massive demand. Well, when there's a massive demand, what happens? Well, this is, this is what happens. This is how the markets work. It's supply and demand. When there's more people buying, they're voting on the up, which means the price goes up. And then the reverse is true. If, for instance, uh, Mr. Joe, I'm going to call him Mr. Joe, uh, makes a massive profit, right? Let's just say, let's just say people in the IDO, you know, make a massive profit. They go, hey, I'm now a 1,000x up. I want to sell. But then there's another bunch of people saying, man, I'm making 100x's, 500x's, and we're getting, we're just getting warmed up. I want to buy more. I want to get, I want to upgrade my membership. So that's what's going to drive the price. So hopefully that's making sense. So let's just now wrap up. Uh, I, th I think I did. I just wanted to have a think for a second because there's there's quite a few moving parts. First of all, U.S. residents unfortunately don't qualify to pass KYC with ICOs and IDOs. That's just U.S. law, so just be aware of that. Um, vesting schedules we need to be aware of. Um, I, I covered this in my IDO and Launchpad Masterclass in a bit more depth, and then I have courses um, which are running at a massive discount right now. But if we just go into a project. I think I can go into Verve now. Yep, I can go into Verve. When you scroll down, uh, you do need to connect your wallet. Mm, I won't do that today. Uh, you will get the information. I was just gonna. I was just gonna say down here. I just want to make this clear as well. Is down here you'll have your your vesting schedule, and it'll tell you how many tokens you have. There'll be a section here that says today on token generation event you'll be able to have ten percent. And then it will say down here, you're going to have 90%. Now, what I'm realizing Bluezilla are doing is mainly linear vesting, which says you have to, you can you can take your 10%, and then you have to wait a month before we're going to release and start the release of your next 90%. We don't get them in one go. You have something called linear vesting. So this is month one, and this is month the end of month six. This is the end of month six. This is month, you know, or end of month one. Let's just call it month one. And then over this time, you're going to get drip fed almost at a minute by minute basis. And it's basically, again, I'm going to do some math for you because this confuses a lot of people, I realized. If I just pull the calculator down here, is the math is let's just say you got 100,000 tokens in total. Yeah, let's just, just use that number. Uh, let me just minimize this. Yeah, you got 100,000 tokens. You get 10%. On token generation event, which means you got a remaining 90%, which is 90,000 tokens to be released to you over a six month period. Well, how many days are there in a, in a six month period? Uh, six times 30, what's that? 180 days. So then we just, just to keep the math relatively simple, we do 90,000 divided by 180 days. So you're going to get released around 500 tokens a day from month one to month six. Yeah, and that's what's a linear vesting schedule. But then you go, well, how fast do I get my 500? Well, you get it released hourly, right? So then you go, well, if you divide that by 24, you're going to receive 20.83 tokens per hour. 
but they actually release it per minute. So if you watched it, you'll see they are released at 0 0.347 per minute. And then you could actually go, they release kind of second by second. You'll see it just 0 0.0001 is released and so on and so forth. And it's just like a, a drip feed. And they're just dripping it out, dripping it out, dripping it out. So if you divide this by, you know, 60, it becomes this amount per second, right? Hopefully that's making sense. I'm just spending some extra time there because these are the common misconceptions. Another last thing that I'm going to just say is with IDOs, people inaccurately think that at the token generation event is where the peak of the price is. That's not the case. What tends to happen is market goes up, a lot of hype, a lot of marketing, a lot of demand, a lot of demand, but then there's a lot of profit taking, right? A lot of profit taking, a lot of profit taking, weeks and sometimes months. But then the next phase of the project, the next cycle of the market, Elliott Wave and Fibonacci, supply and demand, fear and greed, optimism coming back into the market, and then the next leg. So the fact that you have to wait a month, that's okay. Because more often than not, the market is going to be higher than it was before. Not all the time, um, because people miss this. And I, I want to use an example for this. Uh, Wagyu was a good example. Um, if I just jump into Wagyu, let me just grab the contract address. By the way, this is how I grab the contract address to make sure you get in the correct contract address. On the right-hand side, you'll see it says um, contract over here. Just copy. It's on the Binance Smart Chain. When I go to Dex Tools, if you just minimize, you just go here and just paste it in. Click on Binance up here on the top left. I go BNB and WAG. These are for tokens that are not listed or don't have that much data on the centralized exchanges. So we don't use TradingView, we use Dex Tools. And then we just open this up, right? So we just look at the journey so far with, with Wagyu. At the time, people get a bit peed off when they don't get to sell at the top, right? Obviously, right? You know, because it's difficult. Because the market just pumps. This is the first two days of Wagyu. It pumps like crazy. This was, I think it was 0 0.01 to... Yeah, it's like an initial 80x, right? And if you didn't sell at the top in the first two days, then all of a sudden it's down 50%. Now you're at a 40x. Then you're back up, back up, back down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then look at this. It goes down. We called this, by the way, we called this bang on, right? We said, look, we should anticipate an A, B, C. It turned out to be a bit more of a complex correction. You'll see these in my past videos. But then look at this. The next leg. Boom. And it went to like 200 to 300 X, 200 to 300 X, right? I want to show you another example because it annoys me a little bit when people can't see or they don't, they don't do their research or they don't quite get it. So I just want to, as I'm just, I read all your comments and I reply to all your comments. NFT launch was another one. I'm going to, it launched on the Binance Smart Chain first and then Ethereum, I believe. Uh, so let's just use this data. Let's just paste in NFT launch. I think this is running quite cheap at the moment as well. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Bang. All right, I got a lot of lines going on. Let me just change it to a line chart. Let's just zoom out. In fact, let's just stick with a candle actually because we get the IDO price. All right, same thing, right? Same thing. Look at look at this. Let me just get rid of all these lines. There's a lot going on here. Bang. And the reason I'm showing you this is your expectations of IDOs, right? Because you want to manage your own expectations. But look at this, right? So it started at, I think it was, I think it was 0 0.001. Yeah, 0 0.001. We can check that out, but I believe that's the case. And then it just went nice and high. It had its temporary peak. Was that 160x? I think 160x, give or take. Yeah. <coughs> and that's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days. It peaked. Because some people say, should I sell on day one? Well, there's a lot of moving parts. So with NFT launch, it wouldn't have been a good idea because look, it just kept on going up. But no one really knows this. You just have to make a judgment call on, on what you want. 
But then look what happened next. It went higher, right? It went all the way to, to up here. And then it did a correction. Normal, natural market movement, market behavior. And if you saw my videos, I did a video on this actually, because we read the markets. We read the markets objectively, independently, whether we've got tokens in it or not. A, B, C. We saw this textbook pattern. We saw the momentum down here crossing over. All right, we saw this in advance. And then guess what happened? Bang. Next leg. Right, next leg took off. And then the market. But why? Why did this happen? Well, the project evolved. That was the day. I didn't know it was going to announce this, by the way. It just coincided. And this happens a lot. The fundamentals and the technicals coincide. Down here, they literally announced because they did the Gospers uh, NFT launch. The Gospers NFT launch. And oh my God, the community, me included, were furious about the Ethereum gas fees. Jesus, to mint those NFTs was extortionate. I'm talking like thousands of dollars to, to mint multiple NFTs, hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars. And it's like, man, this is, people are going to not be happy with this. So then it was announced. NFT launch will now also do IDOs, initial DEX offerings. Bang, that was announced. And then it just coincided perfectly with our textbook ABC. And it just shut off, it just took off. And it ended up doing, you know, 40 cents. That, that was where it was. I think it was a 200x because uh, if we look at the Bluezilla, yeah, it did a 212x. But the 212x wasn't on day one. It wasn't on day one because I think that only did, what's that? Uh, 170. Yeah, I did it around, I think it did it on 80x initially. 80x because I think it was 0 0.02 cents on IDO. So what, why I'm covering this with you here is anticipation, you know, expectations. You know, it's not, a simple strategy. There's a lot of moving parts. Tokens go up, they go down, they go up, they go down, and then they have a life cycle. And a lot of it's based on human psychology. So there you have it. Today we covered Meta VPad. It is very cheap. They got some big projects coming up, but I think we're now starting to see that we're moving into a bit more of an optimistic market, but we're still not there yet. Still not there yet. We need to see, we want to see Bitcoin reverse and really get those buyers in and so on and so forth. But if you want to learn, Learn about the high-level thinking on IDOs, launch pads. Take my free IDO on launch pad masterclass, how to get consistent 100 Xs. It comes on real high-level thinking. And then we just, you know, we can do some stuff together as well. I've got a few different options for you. So if you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let's finish with a quote. What's the quote of today? Chapter three. The quote is, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Confucius. I like that one. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Any strategy that takes your fancy, you need to find your niche. Some people love technical analysis, Elliot Wave, Fibonacci, buy low, sell high. You know, I personally like that. Some people prefer IDOs, you know, initial DEX offerings, buying at real, real low caps. Others like maybe, you know, only focus on top 10 cryptocurrencies. That's also okay for different reasons. So you want to find what suits you learn and really specialize and keep practicing. And it doesn't matter if you only learn 0.5% new knowledge a day and getting better because Rome weren't built in a day. It's like driving a car. You just want to get used to the gear stick. You want to get used to the steering wheel. You want to get used to the indicator, to having your seatbelt on where it's just second nature, checking the mirror, checking left, right. I remember I, I ride a motorbike, but I, I sold it now. But I rode a, a Honda CBR 600. A Honda CBR 600. Beautiful bike. Oh my gosh. But when they teach you they have something called a lifesaver which is before you turn they like literally any turn or changing lanes you you do your checks you do your checks and then you do a check like that literally it's called the lifesaver that one lifesaver once you got it into your unconscious actually saves your life because there's things you can't see and and you know you got to be careful because you're really exposed when it comes to a motorbike but then it becomes unconscious you do it all the time you literally go you know you do your mirror check and then you go lifesaver and then you move and it's safe and that's what you want to do get to the level where you have your lifesavers in check where it's your stop losses where it's profit taking wherever it's risk free have your business plan in play everything is difficult before it's easy but it's all about preparation and when preparation meets opportunity it normally equals success so 
So if you want to increase your financial health, take my free Elevate Fibonacci Masterclass, take my IDL Masterclass, help me help you, help me help you. <laughs> I want the feedback and let's just keep going. All right, have a great day. Meta VPAD, check it out. Let's see how Verve performs today. It's launching in the next, well, the, the, the doors open in the next few hours. We got Meta Influence on the 24th. We got DotPad on the 27th. We got Paxworld on the 24th of Feb. And we're probably going to have at least four or five in between that are going to get launched. So it's a very exciting time. Now's the time to kind of really start to take the action. And when the prices are down, best time to buy Launchpad memberships. When everything is starting to do 100Xs, 500Xs, 1000Xs, and there's a lot of ideals starting to launch, then naturally the price of the memberships are going to go up. So then you have to make your judgment call. Do you want to wait for that optimistic market and pay more? but is a bit safer, a bit more predictable, or do you want to act now and then kind of make up your mind as well? All right, take care. See you soon.